Imposter syndrome is a psychological pattern where individuals doubt their accomplishments and fear being exposed as a fraud. 70% of people experience imposter syndrome at some point in their lives. And these are the symptoms through which you can tell if you are suffering from imposter syndrome or not. The first one is constant self-doubt. This is a sort of painful, nagging feeling that you're not good enough, regardless of your achievements. No matter how much you perform, no matter how much you deliver, you still feel the self-doubt. Then if you're attributing everything to luck, whatever you achieve, and you believe that you just got lucky rather than acknowledging your own skills and efforts, then this could be the imposter syndrome in play. If you have a fear of failure and fear becomes crippling, stopping you from taking on new challenges or opportunities, then that is sure, surefire imposter syndrome. If you are overworking longer hours to avoid being found out or to match the performance of others, then definitely that is the imposter syndrome at work. If you're continuously downplaying your successes and you're unable to accept compliments or recognition for your work, that is another sign. Okay, now how can you manage it? Well, the first thing is to accept it, to recognize it and acknowledge it. This is the first step. If you are feeling like an imposter, remember it is just a feeling, not a fact. Acknowledge your fear, face them, but don't let them define you. Secondly, you have to tackle it methodically. You need to document your successes, keep a record of your positive feedback, achievements, and moments when you felt proud of your work. And whenever you feel like self-doubt, just go back to that documentation from the last six months and see what you have done. Then failure is part of life. So embrace your failure and learn from it. Accept that failures and mistakes are part of the game, not evidence of your incompetence. They are opportunities to learn and grow. Also, make sure that you are not enclosing yourself in the cocoon. Share your feelings with a mentor, colleague, or support group. You will be surprised how many people experience similar feelings. If you don't have any friend, if you don't have any mentor and you're not close to your colleagues, there is no need to worry. Go to any online community and such as Reddit, Twitter, Facebook, WhatsApp groups. And there are a lot of them. Just join any one of them and then share your feelings. If you are um, fearful of your disclosing your identity, just create a fake profile and go, go with it. The main point is to make sure that you are sharing your feelings, you are unloading your self-doubts. Last but not least, love yourself and make sure that you're taking care of yourself because you are the most important person for yourself. You come first. Overworking is a common characteristic among those dealing with imposter syndrome. So make time for hobbies, exercise, and relaxation to maintain balance. And last but no, not least, remember that imposter syndrome is part of the game. It is not that we all knew everything from our cradle. We have to learn everything, especially in our field, where more and more people are becoming fearful, fearful of this generative AI that they might lose their job. They don't know enough things. When they look at all of these new terminologies, technologies like LLMs, um, machine learning, AI, all of these models, every new models are coming up every day new tools and they're automating stuff. So we are people are getting more and more um, self-doubts that they won't be able to match this Gen AI or maybe they are going to lose their jobs because they don't know enough. So they're working long hours. They are putting in time and effort to learn these new things. So remember this. At the end of the day, this is just life. This is just part of the game. In the past, there have been many technological advancements and people have always felt this way and one of the common misconception is that this time is different trust me it's not and you'll be fine so keep working but also take care of yourself thank you for listening and watching if you like the content please consider
subscribing to the channel. Thank you.